China has unveiled its latest leap in space technology. The Long March 9th rocket, a super-heavy launch vehicle that strikingly mirrors SpaceX's Starship in both design and ambition. Backed by billions of dollars, this new rocket isn't just a technological marvel. It's a bold statement in the escalating global space race. Why is China adopting a design so similar to Starship, and what implications does this have for the future of space exploration? In this video, we'll dive straight into how the long March 9th could redefine space travel and the reasons behind China's massive investment. China is making a significant leap in space exploration with its new long March 9th rocket, representing a transformative shift in rocket design and technology. This super-heavy launch vehicle marks China's transition from traditional expendable rockets to a fully reusable system, aligning with global trends towards sustainability and cost-effectiveness in space travel. Unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show, the Long March 9th's updated design departs from its original concept of a three-stage rocket with solid boosters. The new two-stage, fully reusable configuration is powered by 30 YF215 engines burning methane and liquid oxygen. This choice of methane fuel is noteworthy for its higher efficiency, cleaner combustion, and potential for in-situ resource utilization on planets like Mars. Standing at 114 meters tall, the Long March 9th is designed to carry payloads up to 100 tons to low Earth orbit and 50 tons to lunar transfer orbit. Each YF215 engine produces approximately 200 tons of thrust, totaling around 6,000 tons at liftoff. These capabilities are crucial for ambitious missions like constructing the International Lunar Research Station and future crewed Mars expeditions. The focus on reusability is strategic, aiming to significantly reduce launch costs and increase mission frequency. Reusable rockets eliminate the need for building new vehicles for each mission, making space more accessible for various endeavors. Chen Ziyu from the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology explained that the Long March 9th would first serve as a heavy lift model before evolving into a fully reusable system to enhance cost efficiency. The rocket features advanced technologies such as grid fins for aerodynamic control during re-entry and landing. Both stages are designed for controlled descents, with the first stage landing on offshore platforms and the second stage performing vertical landings after re-entry maneuvers. This approach mirrors successful techniques used by companies like SpaceX. China's substantial investment in the long March 9th underscores its commitment to becoming a leading player in space exploration. By allocating billions to this project, China is advancing its technological capabilities and signaling its intent to push the boundaries of what's possible in space travel. The Long March 9th's unveiling has sparked widespread attention due to its striking resemblance to SpaceX's Starship, raising questions about innovation and competition in the space industry. The similarities between the two rockets are substantial, extending beyond appearance to core functionalities and technological choices. Both rockets adopt a fully reusable two-stage design, aiming to revolutionize space travel by enhancing sustainability and reducing costs. They feature multiple high-thrust engines, 30 OIF-215 engines for the Long March 9th and 33 Raptor engines for Starship using methane and liquid oxygen propellants. This fuel choice offers higher efficiency and cleaner combustion, aligning with industry trends toward more environmentally friendly propulsion. The engines share comparable performance characteristics. The YF-215 engines generate about 200 tons of thrust each, totaling around 6,000 tons, while SpaceX's Raptor engines produce approximately 230 tons each, for a total of about 7,590 tons. This substantial thrust allows both rockets to carry heavy payloads essential for deep space missions like lunar bases or Mars expeditions. Aerodynamic control features further highlight the similarities. Both rockets utilize aerodynamic flaps and grid fins positioned strategically along the vehicle's body for stability and control during atmospheric re-entry and landing. The incorporation of the belly flop maneuver, where the rocket re-enters belly first to maximize drag before flipping to a vertical position for landing, is a distinctive technique employed by both designs. These parallels raise the question of whether China's design is a case of imitation or independent innovation. 
Critics point to China's history of producing technologies resembling U.S. designs, such as their Mars helicopter akin to NASA's ingenuity. However, some argue that similar engineering challenges often lead to convergent solutions, resulting in analogous designs when optimizing for the same objectives. Understanding the nature of these similarities is crucial for international relations and intellectual property considerations. Excessive resemblance without independent development could lead to tensions and impact collaborative efforts in space exploration. Conversely, shared advancements might foster a competitive environment that accelerates technological progress globally. China's introduction of the Long March 9th has significant implications for the global space race, potentially reshaping the future landscape of space exploration. This development signals China's ambition to be at the forefront of space technology, challenging established leaders like the United States. The Long March 9th is central to China's expansive space agenda, which includes constructing the International Lunar Research Station on the Moon's South Pole, a region rich in water ice vital for sustaining human presence and producing fuel. The rocket's heavy lift capabilities are essential for transporting the infrastructure needed for such a base, including habitats, equipment, and supplies. Additionally, the Long March 9th supports China's aspirations for crewed missions to Mars and other deep space endeavors. Its ability to deliver significant payloads to lunar transfer orbit and beyond opens opportunities for more complex and substantial missions. This positions China as a serious contender in the race to explore and possibly colonize other planets. The intensifying U.S.-China dynamic in space exploration could lead to a new era reminiscent of the Cold War space race, but with even higher stakes due to the potential for resource extraction and long-term habitation. This competition might drive rapid technological advancements, cost reductions, and innovative solutions to challenges in space travel and habitation. However, increased competition also brings challenges. The potential for conflict over space resources and the need for updated international regulations become more pressing. Existing legal frameworks like the Outer Space Treaty may not adequately address modern issues such as resource rights and the militarization of space, necessitating new agreements and cooperative efforts. China's advancements could influence global space policies and commercial markets, prompting other nations and private companies to enhance their capabilities to remain competitive. This might lead to increased investment in space technology, fostering innovation, while also raising concerns about market saturation or resource competition. The emphasis on reusability and sustainability set by the long March 9th could establish new industry standards. As major players adopt reusable technologies, the industry may increasingly prioritize environmental concerns related to space debris and the long-term viability of space activities. China's investment in the Long March 9th could be a game changer, not just for them but for all of us with eyes on the stars. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the ever-evolving landscape of space technology. Don't forget to leave a comment below to share your thoughts on this news and let us know what you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching and see you next time.